Hey everyone, so today, officially as I'm recording this, December 17th, Saturn is in Aquarius. Oh my God, I'm just so, so happy for this. And we definitely, this is like a little bit of the change that we have been seeking. Um, and it's just something a little bit different as we really complete the year 2020. Um, and so in this video, I'm gonna actually focus more so on the conjunction between the sun and Mercury, which is uh, really opening this access point to divine intelligence and an access point to really connecting with your God self. So this window of time is really potent for anyone who's wanting to get answers about something they've just been pondering for a while or um, we are at a time where this is a really good um, point in the year to really initiate some new intentions and with Jupiter and Saturn having their alignment on the 21st this is a good time to really initiate some kind of long-lasting venture whether it's whether if it's business spiritual or just some kind of journey within yourself personally. So I'm gonna talk about this energy. So first let's talk about the Sun-Mercury conjunction. So um, the Sun and Mercury have their conjunction about six to seven times per year. And when they had their um, conjunction during Mercury retrograde, which that they do conjunct every Mercury retrograde, that is the peak period or the peak point of the Mercury retrograde cycle. And so during this time, it's, the Mercury is basically in the heart of the sun. And this is where the word Kazemi comes from. And so you'll hear it referred to the Sun-Mercury con uh, conjunction, hearing that referred to as the Sun-Mercury Kazemi. And so usually when any planet, especially Mercury, since it's so close to the sun, when it gets very, very close to a conjunction, it's kind of like outshined by the sun. It's um, and so it could be hard to really grasp any information or communication. It's just like the sun is, is definitely this like blinding light. And so when it gets to that sweet spot, which is within literally 17 um, arc minutes. And so when it gets within that window of time and really the exact alignment is, is key, then the there's like I said an access point that opens and essentially like you could look at as a portal to that divine intelligence just pure intelligence so it's you know I look at the sun as being the provider of that life-giving intelligence and information I mean you can see it you know in plant life you can you know feel it like you feel differently when the sun is out after you had like a you know a series of cloudy days and so think about that kind of energy that intelligence is what you're connecting with and so i've been working with these conjunctions for quite some time and it's really good to as you get closer and closer to the like the day before the day of and the day after um, with the conjunction, you want to make sure your channels are clear um, so that you can receive the messages that you're asking for, or the answers that you're asking for. And so during that window or during that time of the exact alignment or conjunction, you want to really sit with yourself if you have time to meditate or do some yoga, whatever like gets that information or that energy coming through, um, whatever you can do to kind of silence the mind and drop into the space. You wanna do that and you wanna ask your question. Um, and one thing that I tend to do, I will journal the night before um, or within 12 hours before that, that exact alignment. I'll journal and write down my question or questions and then during that exact time, I will go back to that journal entry and read aloud, if you can, your questions. And then I will go to bed and just make sure, just make the intention to um, receive the answers that will come through and you will receive it in due time. And it will be very simple. It'll be very, um, usually very quick and you might get it through, you know, something that you read, it might come in through your mind's eye or there's any, there's so many different ways that this information can come through you. So with this particular sun Mercury conjunction, it's happening December 19th um, at the exact conjunction or exact alignment is at 1026 PM. And so that is that time where you want to drop in with that window and make the intention to connect with your guides or your God self. Um, another 
a key point about this particular conjunction is that it's referred to as a superior conjunction. So when sun, the sun and Mercury conjunct outside of the retrograde cycle, this is coming through as more of a like full moon kind of interaction. And so um, in its orbit and in, in this within this conjunction, the sun is essentially between um, Mercury and Earth, if that makes sense. So it's on the far side, Mercury's on the far side, um, or it's the farthest from Earth at a superior conjunction. And that's the conjunction outside of a Mercury retrograde cycle. So in regard to this particular superior conjunction, conjunction, the effect is a bit stronger. So you'll probably uh, get even more, um, you know, more clarity within the answers that are coming from you or just the insights that you gain at this time. And it's really, there's really a kind of a focus on something coming into abundance, something manifesting or coming to um, its, its culmination period or and so that's something that you can tend to focus on too um just for your information when the sun and mercury have their conjunction during a mercury retrograde cycle then that is known as an inferior conjunction and mercury is closest to the sun and so you have that particular angle coming through so i feel with the the superior conjunction which is coming up in the next two days that is more of that um, going to have that sun influence. So more so it's going to be um, kind of inspiring, tapping into inspiration um, and also just creative self-expression as well. So it's going to be more of that energy and on that inferior conjunction when it's in within the Mercury retrograde cycle, there is that um, essence of more of like that information, the energy exchange, um, networking, um, and it's more of a focus on, on the actual Mercury um, significations, okay? And so another thing I want to point out for the day, December 19th, 2020, this is also a really, really good day to set intentions in regard to the Jupiter-Saturn alignment. So at this point, Jupiter and Saturn will already be in Aquarius. They'll both be at zero degrees. They haven't come exactly to you know their exact alignment which is on the 21st um however shout out to the astrology podcast um with chris brennan and he had leah lisa shime on there as well and they do auspicious elections and so they look at what particular um day and time is um the most opportune time for you to really um set forth some kind of intention or initiate some kind of venture. And so they do that every month if you're a part of their Patreon community, which I am. And so they suggested that actually on the 19th, um, that is going to be the best day to initiate um, whatever it is that you're wanting to um, begin within that energy of Jupiter and Saturn alignment, which is that long lasting, um, creating a long lasting foundation, whether it's starting say like a, a, um, a program within like, you know, furthering your educational um, journey or whether it's starting your business or starting what a website or whatever that venture is or starting your spiritual journey, whatever it is that on the 19th, December 19th is um, a really good time to um, initiate that venture. And their timing for that is actually, um, there's two different times that they had suggested during that day. And so the first time I believe is at 9.50 a.m. And this was from the mountain um, time. And then the next one was, I think it is at 2.30 um, Eastern time, but I will put the information on that in the caption below just to have, I should have probably had that already ready. Um, but yeah, and so if you are really trying to um, initiate something um, with a ritual or anything like that, that day, December 19th is definitely a good day to really initiate whatever it is that you are, you are wanting to um, establish 
for, you know, your foundations for the future. Um, yeah, so I feel really complete with this, guys. If you have any comments, questions, definitely feel free to reach out. Um, I'm also still taking readings for the annual 2021 astrology reading. So looking at your chart um, in relation to the major um, transits and things that are happening in 2021. And so you can reach out to me if you are interested in booking that reading or book via the link in my bio as well. Um, and I will be talking to you guys soon. Take care.